Hello everyone, so you want to know what is the best possible farming method and how to get every single toroid, where do I have to farm them, what are they best used for, what squad should I bring, well in today's video I will be covering everything that you need to know possibly about toroids and without any further ado, I'm your lovely host the Gaming Weasel, let's get straight into this. Now, toroids, there's five different variants, there are Vega, Calda, Sola, Chrisma and Lazarite toroids. Now, if you were talking about a Vox Solaris standing, Vega, Calda and Solar Torrids will give you 1000 standing each. Now, these are better used for ranking up Vox Solaris and also crafting Warframes such as Garuda, Baruch, Hilgen and of course some of the best amp parts in the game. Charisma Torrids are gotten from Profit Taker, they give you 6000 standing, Lazarite Torrids can give you a 12000 standing which is very very good and they're gotten from the Exploiter Orb. Now, Vega Toroids are going to be dropped inside of Spaceport. They have, of course, a 1% chance of dropping from Might Arachnoids, and also every single uh, one of these, of course, I'm talking about Vega, Calda, and Solo Toroids, have a 2% drop chance from random enemies. Now, Calda Toroids are gotten inside of Enrichment Labs. They have a 20% chance from just dropping of Sato Rachnoids. And Solo Toroids are dropped inside of the Temple of Prophet and they have a 20% chance from Kaita Rachnoids. Now, Rachnoids are these little spawn spiders that are going to be spawning and you, if you kill them, you have, of course, the drop chances mentioned that you will get the corresponding Toroid. Now, the one that I'm going to be farming in the video is going to be Vega Toroid, so keep that in mind. Now, what Warframes are going to be really amazing here, what is the setup, well how does the gameplay actually look like. Now, first of all, if you have 80 Platinums to spare and a couple of days farming, it is going to be very nice to purchase yourself a resource chance booster and a resource double booster. Now, when you bring yourself your full squad or you just go in solo, the best thing you possibly can do is go inside either one of these locations, like I went inside of the, uh, the in, inside of the uh, spaceport and then wait until enemies or probably the crewmen will place down reinforcement beacons once they do that wait until you reach alert to level four from this point you will basically gut unlimited enemies spawns and that is the thing that you need if you have allies of course if you're playing with a whole squad even more enemies will appear so that is very very nice now if you're playing solo, what should you bring? For example, I'm playing with uh, Korra with Pilfering Strangle Dome. The build is going to be on the screen right now. This is a plain and simple build. This is the one that I use and it's pretty easy for this because this won't get that high. Uh, for if you, for example, if you stay like 15, 20 minutes, uh, that you can't really survive or or anything. So this build pretty much will do it for me. If you're playing with the full squad, Necros, of course, with Desecrate, Korra with Pilfering Strangle Dome, Wisp with basically max shrink and just a little bit of range and uh, as much duration as you possibly can, just to buff up your squad. And then the last one would be um, what's his name, Nidus with Larva, but. Also, what you can do, maybe subsume on Korra's Ensnare ability, subsume a larva. That could be pretty interesting because Ensnare as an ability is really good, but you, what you can do is basically get two Warframes in one, so that is going to be very nice, and then you can pick, for example, Fast Nova, let's say, instead of, uh, what's his name, Nidus. So that could be pretty nice as well. Now. That is basically how it's going to look like if you're going to play with the full squad and also solo. A little bit of tips. Uh, if you want to get yourself standing as fast as possible, Profit Taker, as I said, is going to be, my, in my opinion, the most efficient fight possible. Now, also, fighting the Exploiter Orb against, uh, I guess, getting uh, Lazarite Torrids is okay, but if you have a double resource booster, getting the Charisma Torrid is going to basically reward you the same amount of Lazarite Torrids, but you also get credits and you get some dead bonds as well, so that is pretty good. Now, uh, saving up the Sola, Calda and Vega Torrids for amp parts and warframes is going to be much much better than spending it on every anything else, other than of course ranking up with Vidox Solaris and that's basically it, that's what I recommend. Honestly, I have stayed inside this mission inside a spaceport for around 10 to 15 minutes with my core playing solo, waiting until the uh, I guess alert level reaches 4 and I've gotten around 32, you're gonna see it somewhere around now, I've gotten around 32, uh, what's it called, Vega Torrids, which is pretty good. The amount that I needed was somewhere around there so that is very nice for staying around 15 minutes and plus I was solo and that is basically it uh, this is how you farm toys the best locations and everything hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did do leave a like a comment and do subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on the next one this has been the gaming weasel over and out